Now, some might say football plus maths just doesn't add up, but Brighton and Hove Albion beg to differ. They're putting on numeracy games at the Amex Stadium to encourage primary school pupils to learn mathematics in a football environment. Here's our own Lionel Messi, Tom Savides. Zero Accounting Software. Sponsors ITV Regional Sports Report. Learning numbers by football. These students from Southway Junior School in Burgess Hill are guiding a ball on a miniature pitch. It's a time trial to see which player can score the quickest. Numbers are then crunched. Averages are worked out. Thirty-eight. So yeah, well done. You've added the ten-second turn. Right? So what's for you, maths or football? Football. You prefer football. It's like fun because you're doing like games while you're actually learning. In math, you just have to like write stuff on a piece of paper, but here you get to like get a robot around. These sessions are being held by the charity Albion in the Community at the Amex Stadium in Falmer. What would you do? The aim to engage students in a way that helps them with their maths. Maths is in football throughout, whether they're doing their passing angles, whether they're doing uh, the time of the, of the matches, it's all, it's all very much mathematical. And for us in football, we, we collect lots of data on, on a daily basis. So the beautiful game is all about numbers. Well, of course it is. Look at some of the transfer fees. It allows the children to see how what we teach them in the classroom can be applied in real life um, and they can see how it's uh, relatable to things such as a football club uh, like Brighton and Hove Albion where they can um, see the maths that they use day to day can be applied to the players and how it helps their improve their performance. I was never great at maths in school but I wasn't too bad at football. Which bit am I supposed to kick again? I may not be doing that well in either maths or football, but it's top marks for quite a few of these students. Tom Savidas, ITV News, Falmer.